Hi folks, I'm very pleased to say that uh, this government has been able finally to do a deal with our friends and partners in the EU and finally after three and a half years we got Parliament to approve it, at least on the second reading. But then, unfortunately, Parliament has again voted to delay and the risk is that they will delay again and again and again uh, so that I'm afraid we never come out of the EU. And at the moment our EU friends and partners are at risk of agreeing with Parliament and offering us another extension of our membership, which we in this government profoundly don't want. So what I'm offering uh, our fellow MPs, my fellow MPs, is, is an agreement whereby they have some more time to approve this deal, which is what they want, uh, in exchange for their commitment to go forward with the general election on December the 12th. And the reason for doing that is because I think the people of this country want the certainty that our parliamentarians this time really have a hard deadline, a deadline of when Parliament is, rises for the dissolution before that election on December the 12th to get things done, to get Brexit over the line. I'm very confident uh, that that is a good way forward for our country. If they won't do it, if they won't do it, then of course we will simply campaign for a general election, day after day after day until we get it. And I may say to those who say the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party will refuse a general election day after day, what are they going to do? They're refusing to get Brexit done. They're refusing even to agree to an extension, many days uh, of debate to get Brexit done. They're refusing to have a general election. I think it's perfectly obvious uh, that if we, things go on like this, this Parliament, thanks to Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party, will have completely outlived its usefulness. It will have sat there too long for all the good it has done. And I think the people of this country will want it uh, to, to go and make way for a, a new Parliament that, which will be able to take forward the agenda of this country and the people's priorities. And that's uh, what we intend to do at the general election.